Hey kids, it's that time again. Welcome to our New Life Oneonta Upstreet Kids video Bible lesson. I'm Mr. Rocco. And I'm Christy. And we are super excited to have you guys join us this week. As always, uh, we're looking forward to getting into a brand new theme this month. Uh, brand new ideas, concepts, life apps, memory mm -hmm. verses, all the things that we get super excited for. But first, as always, we're going to start off with a little bit of prayer and a little bit of worship. And I'm going to ask the, sungla the sunglass lady next to me to open us up in prayer this morning. Well, I figured it's June. It is June. It's summer. Well, it's getting there. It's basically summer. So, we should be wearing some shades. Shades, some, uh, fancy earrings, you know. Yeah. All the things Summery. that make us feel like summertime. Just kidding. I got new sunglasses and I really like them. <laughs> no, but you know what? Wearing. It is summertime because we're starting our June theme, which as you guys will find out in a few minutes... Uh, exactly what that is. Our June theme is actually our June and our July theme. Mm -hmm. It's a two month theme for this for this so these two months. So exciting! So we're really excited about that because we have eight weeks of an amazing, awesome topic that we get to learn about uh, God and new ways and new things. Um, so we're really excited for that, and we'll get that kicked off in just a second. Should we but, tell them now or should we wait? No, let's wait. Let's right, uh, let's we'll build wait. up the anticipation. Yeah. All right. Okay. Why don't you pray and then we'll worship together and then we'll tell them. Sounds great. All right. Bow your heads, close your eyes, please. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the time that we have together. I thank you for each and every person that's watching this video and that hears this video. I pray that you would be with them, that you would watch over them and keep them safe. I thank you for this brand new month. I thank you for this fresh start that we get. And then we get two months of these incredible lessons to learn more about how we can live more like you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now let's get our hands clapping and our feet stomping. Let's worship together with our brand new worship song like for this, this month. A lot. You guys are going to love it at home. It's catchy. It's upbeat. Yeah. So let's get ready to worship together with Press Play. My check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, we know we belong here because of your love for us that goes on and on forever. Jesus, we know you are with us wherever we go.
Right? Get in the mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get in the I mix. I told you it was a good one. It, it was a good one. Yeah. And, and there's some pretty sweet moves there's in there, some too. awesome moves. Some I'm awesome have to some, some awesome beats. I, yeah. I was loving the beat of that mm -hmm. worship song that we got to do together. So, guys, we have four, three more. Actually, we have at least three more weeks of this. Yeah. Um, because there may be a different worship song next month. Maybe, 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 not. maybe, maybe not. So well, we have at least three more weeks of this. And uh, I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited to continue to learn those moves and get in the groove of worship with you guys together. All right. So can you practice. guys guess what this month might be called? I was going to say practice those dance moves and, and get it. And the name of the song is kind of important because the name of bit. the worship song is Press Play. I'm trying to remember what the name of our theme was this month. Sounds why don't you show us so that we can remember together? Why don't I press play and see what happens? Press play. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's press play. It's press play. That's why it sounded familiar. Get in the mix. Get press it? play. Get in the mix. Get it. Get it. We just sang it. And now zero, we're gonna zero. Yeah. We did there. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Press play. Get in the mix. That's our theme for the next two months as we go through June and July, and we're gonna learn all about some really great and important topics uh, about God and about Jesus and our relationships with them. Um, and I know I'm excited. I know Miss Christie's excited. This is gonna Always. be a great two months and a great theme for us to kick off our summer. Okay. Our big life app. Uh, so, uh, our life app for the mm -hmm. for the month and the 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 big word that we're going to focus on for the next couple of weeks uh is the word confidence guys this is a really important word it's yeah. a hard word to define sometimes because it can mean many different things yes. and and we can show confidence in many different ways but it's a really really important idea and concept that we can have when we're talking about our relationship with God, our relationship with one another. Miss Christy, why don't you tell us what confidence is today? So confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. And sometimes this isn't always so easy. There's a lot of people that struggle with confidence and having confidence. And if we just think about seeing ourselves the way God looks at us, mm -hmm. It can change your whole perspective Yep. quite a lot. Yeah. I know that sometimes, it may not seem like it, but sometimes I have a big problem with confidence. I worry about how people may view me because I'm so loud and so out there. But I know that God made me a very specific way with a very specific purpose. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the fact that God loves me so much that he created me this way, it does give me confidence. And I hope that it does the same for you guys too. I, I hope you guys learn to see yourselves the way God sees you. All right. And when that happens and when, and when you do that, you will have the confidence that we're talking about here. All right. Miss Christie, why don't you kick us off with our memory verse for this month Let's so that we it. can get into that and talk more about confidence and being confident. So our memory verse is a little bit shorter this month, so it'll be easier to remember. <laughs> Last one was a doozy. But it was definitely a doozy. But this one is still a really good one. We're going back into Psalms. So it is Psalm 27, 13, and it says, Here is something I am still short of. I will see the Lord's goodness while I'm still alive. Yeah. And we can have confidence that or the author of Psalms there has confidence because he knows that he's going to see the goodness of God in his lifetime mm -hmm. in, in whatever way God chooses to show that to him. Okay? He is confident in he, what he's saying. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and that's, that's another way that we can show confidence when, when we are confident with who we are, through our relationship with God, when we see ourselves how God sees us, the other areas of our life will become, we'll have more confidence in those areas as well. Mm -hmm. So when we learn to see ourselves the way God sees us, and we learn to love ourselves the way that God loves us, we can have confidence in the way we speak, in the way we act, in the way we treat one another. All of those things will come to a, a more obvious uh, and more joyful role in your life because of the confidence you have in knowing that God loves you. All right. Let's do a read and repeat. Let's do a read and repeat. I, I'm really excited you about ready? this. But I, as you can tell, because I can't stop talking about it. I'm really excited for this verse because it, it plays such an important role in our it lives. It does. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. 
Here's something I am still sure of. Here's something I am still sure of. I will see the Lord's goodness. I will see the Lord's goodness. While I'm still alive. While I'm still alive. Psalm 27, 13. Psalm 27, 13. I thought you were going to read it first, and then I didn't realize that you I had already, already read, read it, it first, and then I had to read and repeat you. Read and repeat means I read it, yeah. and you repeat yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't do so good Did you that. guys get it right? I hope so. They probably did better than I did. <laughs> I'm confident they did better than I did. You know, sometimes confidence is you know, worrying about how other people see you or not having confidence or mm -hmm. worrying about that. Sometimes confidence is not being sure of the right answer in class or, um, you know, not sure about your outfit for the day or something like that. But we can be confident no matter what in God's goodness. Absolutely. For certain. That's something we don't ever have to worry about. And that's kind of where our story is going to take us today, because there, like we said, there are lots of different things that we can have confidence in, right? Mm -hmm. We can have confidence in our abilities, in our strengths, um, in our relationships. But m the one thing that we can absolutely have confidence in is the fact that we know that God loves us. And that's what our Bible story is going to take us into today. So if you guys really, really want to learn more about Having that confidence, let's pay attention to the screen and get ready for this week's lesson. What's up, everybody? It's me, Graham. How do you like my smolder? I'm smoldering because in my line of work, you've got to have confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. I don't know how you see yourself, but I see myself as a performer. You should hear me sing. I sing everywhere, in the shower, in my car, alone in my room, everywhere, except in front of other people. That's where I draw the line. I when I'm alone, I'm like the most confident singer on the planet. But when other people are involved, I freeze up. And it's not just when I'm singing, it's when I'm playing an instrument. Or when I'm playing baseball. I got it. I got it. You get it. Or anytime someone asks me a question and I'm not sure of the answer. Why is the sky blue? Oh, uh, well, there's a very, very good reason. The, uh, the p p part particles in the, um, uh, uh, the, uh, basically, anytime people are watching, I lose my confidence. I start to doubt myself. I forget to see myself the way God sees me. If that's something that happens to you, you're going to want to stick around for today's story. It should be pretty cool. I can't see anything in these. The Bible. It's 66 books of history. Stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of John, chapter 3, verses one through 21. As Jesus began to travel and teach and perform miracles, people started asking, Who is this man? One of these people was a man named Nicodemus. He had been born a Jew. Well, yes, we are God's chosen people. Not only that, but Nicodemus was also a Pharisee, an important religious leader, and he was a member of the Sanhedrin, which was the Jewish high court. After careful consideration, I find that you have disobeyed God's law. And to top it off, Nicodemus was one of the leading teachers of Old Testament scriptures. You must never work on the Sabbath. Uh, would you like to hear me recite the other 612 laws? So it seemed like if anybody had a direct path to heaven, it was Nicodemus. But even though he tried his best to follow God's rules, he might have sensed something missing as he watched Jesus teach, as he heard about the amazing thing this young rabbi was doing. The other Pharisees, though, did not approve of Jesus. 
They say he turned jars of water into wine at some backwards wedding. Ugh, peculiar. Uh, I also heard he makes sick people well, just like that. That's less disturbing than driving all the money changers and sellers out of the temple with a whip. Did you hear about that? Nicodemus didn't know what to think. All of these signs. Jesus couldn't do things like this if he weren't from God, right? Nicodemus was so curious he decided to talk to Jesus himself, but he didn't want the other religious leaders to know what he was doing, so he snuck out in the middle of the night to find Jesus. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Listen closely to what I say. No one can see the kingdom of heaven unless they are born again. B born again? How can someone be born another time when they're already old? Nicodemus was trying to imagine what on earth Jesus was trying to say. I mean, Nicodemus had already been born once as a Jew. Didn't that mean he would get into heaven? Surely you can't mean someone would have to go back inside their mother. Pay attention. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. <sighs> Nicodemus's mind raced. Jesus was saying that simply being a Jew wasn't enough, that following the rules couldn't get him to heaven. There was a new way. How can this be? You are Israel's teacher. Don't you understand these things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven. He is the Son of Man. Everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Years later, Jesus' friend John helped to make it clear as he wrote down this amazing conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Okay, there is so much great stuff in this one short verse. I think we better break it down. Let's start right here with God loved. God made us. He loves us more deeply than we can ever imagine. But just like Adam and Eve in the very beginning, each one of us has broken our relationship with God. Every time we lie or disobey a parent or do something we know is wrong, that's called sin, and sin hurts our relationship with God. But God had a plan to make things right. That's why God gave. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. God gave the most incredible gift ever, his own son, Jesus. Jesus lived on earth as a human being, but he lived perfectly. He never sinned, never broke a single one of God's rules. And then he gave up his own life by dying on a cross to rescue us. When Jesus died, he paid the price for our sins, sins that we could never pay for on our own. And because of Jesus, our broken relationship with God is healed. We can be close to him like sons and daughters. Anyone can have that relationship with God, whoever believes. Anybody can believe in Jesus, you, your mom, your dad, your best friend, the new kid at school, the guy who feeds pigeons at the park. Anybody can believe in Jesus because Jesus is a real person. He came to earth about 2,000 years ago. People talked with him and followed him. And like Nicodemus, they watched Jesus do amazing things from making blind people see to feeding thousands of people from one tiny little lunch. And people saw him nailed to a cross until he died. But here's the amazing part. Jesus came back to life and hundreds of people saw that too. Jesus is alive right now. He's living with God in heaven. And we can live with God forever too. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. That's the key. You can have a relationship with God, not just now, but for always. When you believe in Jesus and that he died to pay a price for your sins that you could never pay, God gives life forever with him. 
And just like Nicodemus discovered, you can't earn this forever life by doing all good things or following all the rules. It's a gift from the creator of the universe who loves you no matter what. Now, remember Jesus' friend John who wrote all this down? He adds another thought. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world. He sent his son to save the world through him. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, when you follow Jesus and put your trust in him, you can have confidence in knowing that you're part of this amazing, never-ending story that God is telling. And you'll be able to share that story yourself as you grow in loving God and loving others. Here's what I know. There are times in our lives when we lose confidence. Maybe it's because we're afraid we'll mess up. Or maybe we don't think we're good enough or strong enough or smart enough. But here's another thing I know. If you're a good singer, or if you're not, if you can catch a baseball, or if you can't, if you know the answers to all the questions, or if you don't, God loves you. I don't know how you see yourself, but when God sees you, he sees someone he created, someone who is loved, someone who matters. How much does God love you? It's like what John wrote. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. God loved you so much that he gave his son Jesus. And whoever believes in Jesus will have a relationship with God forever. That's where my confidence comes from. No matter what I'm going through, I know that God loves me. And now you know too. That's the one thing to remember today. You can be confident because God loves you. So maybe now I can have the confidence to perform in front of other people. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the street. Yep, God still loves me. And that's pretty cool. I'll see you next time. So as we see in this verse, John 3, 16, we learn a couple of really important points. We learn that God loves the whole world so much mm -hmm. and that's the whole part of god loved us and then god gave his son jesus to us so that he would come and save us so god gave so god love and god gave okay um that relationship can be formed with anyone who wants relationship with god it's open to you it's open to your family it's open to me and miss christy anyone who believes in god can have this relationship with him that's the whoever believes that part. exactly so god loved us he gave and whoever believes will live forever mm -hmm. and but that whole living forever thing is us having a relationship with god and getting to spend eternity with him in heaven all right. So we we see all these important things in this verse, John three sixteen, where God loves us so much that He gave us a way to spend eternity with Him, it's and so all <laughs> all we have to do is accept it and and love Him and have a relationship with Him. It, it's it's really that simple. There's a reason that this is one of the most popular verses <laughs> in the Bible, yeah. and one of the first verses that people memorize yeah. out of it because it's. Oh, important. Super important. See, God didn't send Jesus to point out all of our mistakes, point out all of our sins. Mm -hmm. God sent Jesus to us to save us from those things. He wanted us to have a better life. Because he loves because us. Because he loves us. So if there's one thing you guys can take away from this week's lesson, it's that you can be confident because God loves you. Mm hmm God did all these things. He made a way for us to spend eternity with him uh, by sending his son Jesus to us because we love him, because he loves us. And we can have confidence in that. Right. All right. So, Miss Christie, why don't you just bring up our bottom line real quick for, for this week and just let us all remember that you can have confidence because God loves you. Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, that's a really important lesson that I think a lot of times we miss. We forget that if nothing else... All the things that might be going on in our lives and all the different things that, that might be hard in our lives, 
always remember that first and foremost, God loves you and God will always love you. God is a God who will continue to love you for all the days of your life, no matter what. And because of that, we can have confidence in knowing that no matter what else happens, at least we have God's love in our life. Absolutely. And when you might be having a little bit of a tough day and you might have not so much confidence in yourself, you can read your Bible. You can read your memory verses. You can read over your bottom lines and remember that we can have confidence because God loves us. So you can go out and do something that makes you feel really good to boost your confidence and to remember and remind you that God loves you and God sees you in the best light possible. Or you can put on a pair of really fancy, funky earrings that make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> and awesome sunglasses. <laughs> Listen, guys, there's nothing wrong with making ourselves look pretty, putting on some fancy sunglasses or earrings, doing whatever we have to do to try and be as confident as we can. But we should remember that at the root of all of that is the fact that we serve a God who loves us so much mm -hmm. that he made a way for us to spend eternity with him. Yes. And because of that, we get to spend eternity with God. I mean, that's that's the greatest thing. That's the greatest gift that anyone could ever give us. Yeah. So just remember that and be confident in that this week. All right. Let's pray for that before we do our memory verse. So now that it's fresh in our minds. All right. So if you guys will, just bow your heads, fold your hands, and let's pray for this lesson today. God, I thank you so much. I thank you for each and every life that's going to hear this message. And I, I'm just so thankful that you love us enough to send your son Jesus to, to die for our sins, Lord, so that we could spend eternity with you. God, I'm so grateful for the confidence that you give us because you love us. And I just pray that each and every child and parent that hears this message would have confidence knowing that you love them unconditionally every day, forever and ever. And we just pray that you be with us each and every day as we go throughout our weeks and months, continuing to grow in confidence and in relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Miss Christy, why don't you hit us with that memory verse one more time before mm -hmm. we go into our worship song again for the day. Let's do it. So I'll read it and then we'll repeat it. Here is something I am still sure of. I will see the Lord's goodness while I'm still alive. Psalm 27, 13. All right. Ready? I am ready this time. Are you guys ready? I think they're ready. I hope so. Okay. Here is something I am still sure of. Here is something I am still sure of. I will see the Lord's goodness. I will see the Lord's goodness. While I'm still alive. While I'm still alive. Psalm 27, 13. Psalm 27, 13. Man. You did better that time. I did. And that, that author has so much confidence. So much confidence. I pray that we would have that much confidence. Yeah. I, I think as we go throughout our press play theme, we'll have that. We'll, we'll start to develop more confidence. I think the thing. more we talk about confidence, the more confidence we'll have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work on it. I think you should work on it with me. We'll work on it together. How all about right. we all do it together? Yeah, that makes more sense. I think Definitely. if we do it as a group, it'll be better. Yeah. Are you so, guys in? We'll work on it. You guys work on it. We'll do it together. And by the end of this, we'll have as much confidence as possible. Yeah. All right. I like it. Well, in order to have confidence, let's uh, let's worship together a little bit today. Because okay. as we learned last month, that's one way that we can hear from God mm -hmm. is by worshiping. So let's worship together uh, one more time today with our worship song, Press Play. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play. Everybody 
one of our press play theme again this is week one of eight really yeah. all right so we have eight awesome weeks of press play get in the mix where we're going to learn more about confidence and all the other things that god would have for us i'm so excited i'm excited miss christy's excited we can't wait till next week week two of eight and uh we hope that you guys have a great week we're going to be praying for you and just know that we love you more importantly know that god loves you and that you guys can have confidence knowing that God loves you. Have a great week. Bye, guys.